how to partition numbers. 28,367. Now the question might say write down the value of the underlying digit. So if it was here for example, you would write down the value of the 2 is 20,000 because it's the 10,000s column and there's two of them so it's 20,000. Or you might get a question that says write down the value of each digit and they might give you some of the answers and you've got to fill some of the gaps in. So let's say we're writing out the value of each digit. So we're going to do this one. 20,000 add 8,000. So it's in the thousands column. And then we've got 300 and 6 tens, 60 and 7 ones. So 28 1367 is made up of 20,000, 8,367. Let's look at a larger number. You can put the commas in first. So go from the ones from the where the uh, decimal point would be, and we count one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. This is quite a lot of a larger number, and we've got three million one hundred ninety-eight thousand and ninety-two. So we're going to write down the value of each digit. Three million. So we're going to make sure that we get the correct number of zeros. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I've got my commas in the correct place. So then I've got here 1. So that's 100,000. 100, comma, and 3 zeros, 1,000. Add 90,000. Add 8,000, 8, 0, 0, 0, 8,000, add 90, so it's 9 tens, add 2. So 3,198,092 is made up of 3,100,000, 90,000, 8,000, 90, and 2. And that is how you partition numbers.